Well, greetings, saints. Uh, it's been several weeks that we've now been in quarantine mode, and I thought it'd be good to send a greeting to the various churches. Uh, I do hope that you're doing well and praying for you, praying for good health, uh, praying that the Lord would really meet you in this season, and really praying for uh, our nation and the nations of the earth that uh, that not only would be we be kept from the uh, really the just the devastating uh, illness that we're facing, but also that. Uh, that hearts would be turned to the Lord. So uh, trusting in him and looking forward to what he's gonna do through all of this. I, uh, I thought it'd be good to send out a greeting. Uh, looks like we've got probably a mo another month of this, maybe more uh, of quarantine. And uh, a few thoughts on my heart uh, at this juncture. Um, first of all, is I wanna encourage you uh, to stay vigilant in this. Uh, what we're dealing with is a very, very serious disease very important. I mean, we can't see it. I mean, you go outside and there's uh, there's no evidence of it, uh, but really we're dealing with a very serious disease. And I want to encourage you to, uh, uh, to really keep in mind uh, in all your interactions and your activities uh, that, that we need to be cautious. Uh, there's a verse in 1 Peter chapter 5 that I've been thinking about. It says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the dev devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Uh, you know, the, the words have been kind of stirring around inside of me, be sober, be vig vigilant. It, it speaks of a, of a sense of awareness. So I really do want to encourage you. We want you to stay healthy, uh, be faithful, don't be fearful, but also let's not be foolish. Uh, I was in touch with Bonnie Kellogg recently. Some of you know Bonnie. Uh, she uh, and her family lived in Potsdam. Uh, she and her husband, Ted, and their kids. Uh, years ago, they were part of the church. Uh, and now Bonnie's in central New York. Uh, Ted uh, passed away a few years ago, very sadly. Well, Bonnie's down there, and she tested positive for coronavirus. And uh, she, she shared online, some of you might have seen it on Facebook, some of her experience really very, very challenging. So I want to encourage you to be uh, to be very cautious in all of this. So that's number one. Number two, as we're looking at maybe another month of this, maybe more, I want to encourage you, this would be a good time to set some goals. Uh, I think we, we understand now a little bit of what quarantining looks like. We've had some experience now for a few weeks. Um, but I want to encourage you to, to take advantage. The Bible says that we need to redeem the time. And so what could this coming month look like for you in terms of personal growth, in terms of family patterns, uh, in terms of things like that? And with that, I want to encourage you. I think this could be an excellent time for us to really focus in on our time with the Lord. Uh, you know, we all tend to be very, very busy. And we tend to keep a very, very busy pace. And I think that that can come sometimes compete with the time that we really need uh, in the Lord's presence. And so what I encourage you to do is uh, in this coming month, think about uh, extra time with the Lord, extra time in prayer, extra time in the word of God. Um, there was a verse on my heart, Mark 3.14. Uh, I'll read it first in the New King James. It says, then he appointed 12 that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach. And so he, uh, he appoints the 12, and there's two things it says, that they might be with him and that he might send them out. You know, before he sends them out, there's a being with. The NIV says it this way, then he appointed 12 of them and called them as apostles. They were to accompany him, and he would send them out to preach. The ESV, and he appointed 12, whom he named, also named apostles, so that they might be with him and he might send them out to preach. The uh, CSB, he appointed 12, whom he also named apostles to be with him, to send them out to preach. So I wanna encourage you that this can be a great time of, 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 of just sharing in the Lord's presence, in prayer, uh, really growing close to him. I've actually heard from a number of people this past week who, who talked about, wow, with, with the absence of a lot of activity, it's been kind of an interesting time to engage in the presence of the Lord. I want to encourage you in that on purpose, spend time with the Lord. Don't just simply fill your time with, with other activities. I know, I know you're probably bored. A lot of us, you know, are struggling with, you know, what do I do? Um, one of the best things you could do is to be with him out of the being with him, I believe will come great ministry. Finally, I just want to say we're praying. We're praying for you, for health, for personal growth. 
uh, for God to keep you through all of this. Look forward to being together again soon. Uh, can't wait till we can be, uh, you know, face to face, hugging one another's necks, uh, just really in, enjoying fellowship. I think if uh, if there's anything that has been stirred in us the last few weeks, it's a fresh appreciation for what we have in the fellowship that we enjoy and the time we spend together. So God bless you. I hope you continue to grow. I hope it's a great month ahead. May the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.